My name is Mariana Pinchuk. I am an associate product manager uh, with the mobile web team of the Wikimedia Foundation. Mobile is growing a lot faster than our um, desktop sites uh, in terms of page views. Uh, we're getting millions and millions of new readers coming in every day. Um, a lot of them are coming in from places that are just coming online and where mobile is the primary source of uh, internet connectivity. So places like Brazil and India where people use mobile devices to access the internet. Uh, and so all these people are sort of coming online just now and all of them are flooding to Wikipedia and we are seeing tons and tons of new traffic. Um, we're also really excited about potentially using that time and space that people have on mobile to uh, start kind of nudging them towards contributing as well. So um, that's a big part of what we do here. Uh, if you take a look at some of the third-party Wikipedia apps, they're all kind of geared towards really nice reading experiences. Uh, what we're primarily focused on is uh, making sure that people understand this is a, a living site. Everything that you see is being created uh, basically in front of you by other human beings and you too can participate in this process if you so desire. We're a, a community that sort of prizes and cherishes volunteers uh, and we're we release all of our content under a Creative Commons license. Um, so we kind of encourage third-party developers to do whatever we, they want with our content. Um, and we're pretty small, so we don't uh, really have the infrastructure and resources to interface in a great deal with these people. Um, we do have a small team that's primarily focused on kind of talking to outside developers, uh, trying to get more developers into our volunteer development community. Uh, but for the most part, uh, it's kind of nice to see these, these apps around and floating around and really cool to see the different applications that people have uh, put together for fun, for you know, joy and delight and pleasure and for media attention, for, for any kind of purpose. Um, it's, it's cool and it's, it's kind of something that's really valuable to see uh, just sort of floating out there without any of our direct guidance or influence. We've been thinking about mobile for a while, uh, but primarily as a kind of a funnel for new readers. So um, we've had pro programs around um, like Wikipedia Zero, which is the, the sort of free Wikipedia uh, service to people who uh, may not want to pay a lot of money for a fancy data plan, uh, but they still want to read our content. Um, so that, that program's been around for a while, uh, and it was targeting, again, primarily readers, uh, just people who could access our content. Uh, but we started thinking about mobile as not just a readership tool, but also a contributory tool fairly recently. The quality of the encyclopedia now is pretty high, so uh, you'd have to come at it with you know, a textbook full of references and really, really scholarly writing, and it's hard to see that being an activity that someone does on their phone, on a bus, in the half an hour that they have. Mobile devices are full of constraints. Uh, and since we are primarily a very text-heavy kind of service, it was difficult for us to imagine how we would translate that onto a tiny touch screen where you had to fiddle with little buttons. Uh, and our editor is not exactly the most um, user-friendly experience even on desktop, and we're working to change that now. Uh, but really, imagining that on a mobile space was kind of daunting and scary. Uh, and for a while, I think we were all just too afraid and too uh, <laughs> intimidated by the problem. So um, it took up a, a little bit of courage to, to start thinking about, well, maybe there are other ways that people can contribute that don't involve manipulating long form text or writing out things in a long, long, long way. Um, that there are more atomic, kind of easy, lightweight contributions that people can can do. Um, and that's sort of where we're going with our mobile features. So a great one is um, there are tons of articles on Wikipedia that don't have images, and any images at all. Um, and a lot of these are things that are very easy to take a photo of with your smartphone camera. Uh, so we've made it fairly simple to just, with a push of a button, um, upload an image from your phone or your gallery um, and just add it right into the top of the article. That's the kind of thing that we want to do more of, kind of uh, taking away the interface aspect of it and making it very, very simple for people to kind of in the moment contribute uh, in a kind of serendipitous way to Wikipedia. For now, for the most part, we focus on just providing them with as much of the material as we can. So for people who don't even have uh, smartphones, we're working on a service uh, where we can actually text you the article that you request. So you text us a request and then we text you back the long article in just plain text. Um, so that's, that's a pretty big challenge getting to the people who don't even have access to these fancy phones that we all carry around in our pockets. Um, but 
Obviously, when you think of actually manipulating the text, you would need a device that is capable of doing that. Um, and for those users, we definitely want to have a, sort of a balance. So we don't want to get in the way of people's reading experience. We don't want to flash a bunch of notices and messages and clutter up the interface with a bunch of buttons that tell them to edit. Um, but we do want to make that available to them if they choose. We're actually uh, pretty ideologically committed to an open internet. Um, so while we do have uh, an apps team that focuses on native apps, we really are betting our money on the mobile web um, to allow more people to access our sites uh, and to allow more of those casual readers who may be just following a link in Google or somewhere else uh, to an article to actually see some of those contributory features and use them. So right now, uh, our contributory features are sort of crudely um, available via a login that you have to go through. Um, but in the future, I think we definitely want to play around with more sort of progressive disclosure, showing people little bits and teasers and hooks, and then convincing them that it's a really great idea to register an account with Wikipedia, which is free. Um, you know, it's not a source of ad revenue for us or anything like that. Um, we just want to be able to provide users with extra features that they wouldn't necessarily have if they were logged out. Um, and from there, we can show them the full suite of stuff that we have for them. If you log in or create an account, both of which you can do on mobile, you will have access to um, an upload feature. If you're on an article that has no images, you'll see a button that asks you to add an image to this article. Um, you can also just generically donate an image to Wikipedia. Um, so our site is a little weird. We have our own separate repository of free media called Wikimedia Commons. Um, and from that pool of media, all of the wiki projects, so not just English Wikipedia, but all of the different language Wikipedias and some of our sister projects like Wiktionary and Wikiversity, um, they all draw those images and use them in their content. So if you donate an image, um, it might go to some article on Vietnamese Wikipedia or on Italian Wiki Voyage, um, and, and you can contribute in that way. Uh, and we also actually have a beta site. Um, so if you go to the settings of uh, the regular mobile site, you will find a little beta opt-in. And from there, you can access the editing feature that we're working on currently. Uh, it's super, super unpolished and rough, um, but we're just trying to experiment with different ways that we can actually um, manipulate text on a tiny little screen. The editing feature we're going to start focusing on pretty heavily in the next couple of months um, since we've kind of built out the uploads feature. Um, and we're going to play around with um, some different minimum viable products, um, but we're hoping, uh, since our desktop features team is working on the visual editor, which is really exciting, um, you know, a full WYSIWYG editor, we're hoping to integrate with that whenever they kind of release to desktop. So we're not just sort of focused on building out a really good mobile website. We also want to start making Wikipedia more mobile friendly, the desktop version of the site. So there have been some ideas floated around and a little bit of uh, kind of experimental research time uh, invested in creating a Wikipedia skin that's a little friendlier for smaller devices and is actually responsive and scales down well. So uh, we're, we're, we're definitely trying to approach it from all angles. Like we want our readers to have a, the best experience they can um, and we want, but we also want to, you know, have editors who can do things um, either on desktop or on mobile, wherever they're more comfortable. We have a hundred thousand people around the world making all this content, contributing it, um, making sure that it's accurate and up to date and not riddled with vandalism from Stephen Colbert. And you know, um, that's how it works. That's how it stays great. And in order for it to keep being great, we need more people to help out.